Now, the Secretary General of the Muslim Brotherhood has told Al Jazeera that he fears security forces will bury Morsi in Cairo late at night, denying him a proper funeral. This is a sad day, not only for the Muslim brothers, but also for the Egyptian people, and for his family, and for Arabs and Muslims, and especially for the Palestinian people, who witnessed how Morsi stood with them in the war. There is no doubt that history will remember today as a day Morsi was martyred after he was killed by the military coup. Maha Azam is the head of the Egyptian Revolutionary Council, which was the main organization advocating for Morsi to be reinstated as president. She says Morsi's condition has deteriorated over the years. He was in solitary confinement, he suffered from diabetes, he lost sight in one eye, and we made this public through uh, uh, press conferences that we held as the Egyptian Revolutionary Council alongside with other human rights organizations and lawyers. It's something Human Rights Watch has uh, pointed to. Uh, we sent letters and met with policymakers and with uh, agencies of the United Nations. There was sympathy, but very little action on the part of the international community, but more importantly, uh, no response from the Egyptian regime, which we hold responsible for what's happened to Dr. Morsi. Uh, responsibility goes to the highest level of the state, to General Sisi himself, to the security forces, and the judiciary that is an arm of the military. They are all responsible for what's happening to political dissidents and today to Egypt's first and democratically, first democratically elected president. Well, mosques in Turkey will hold funeral prayers for Mohammed Morsi on Tuesday. And President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has paid his own personal tribute. In our eyes, Mohamed Morsi is a martyr who lost his life while he fought for the cause he believed. History will never forget the tyrants who put him in prison, threatened him with the death penalty and caused his martyrdom. We formed a close friendship with him before he was elected as president and preserved it afterwards. Morsi, who was put on trial by a court established by the coup administration and sentenced him to death, gave his last breath in a courtroom, and this is a symbol of the cruelty inflicted upon him and his people for years. And the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, has tweeted, We have received with deep sadness the news about the sudden death of former president Dr Mohamed Morsi. I send my sincere condolences to his family and to the Egyptian people. While protesters in New York have demonstrated to show their anger at Morsi's death, people also demonstrated in Turkey's largest city, Istanbul. They followed calls from the Muslim Brotherhood for Egyptians living abroad to march in front of embassies to condemn his death. Talia Fahmi is an associate professor of political science at Long Island University and author of Egypt and the Contradictions of Liberalism. She says the lack of international reaction is telling. What we have heard out of the United Nations, the United States, the European leaders is silence. And so the question is, why is there not a call for the independent investigation of the death of a world leader at the hands of another? Now, a few months ago on this very program, when I, when we, I was asked about, well, President Macron has said that the, you know, Egyptian human rights violations will need to be accounted for. Well, then why is still France still selling great amounts of arms to Egypt, more so than any other Western nation? Why does President Trump here in the United States continue to say Sisi is doing a great job? Even in terms of the war on terror, he's failing. And so the question is, if Western nations continue to see stability in the region through the iron-handed fist, what we're asking ourselves is, is this really reality? He's failing in the war on terror. He's failing in terms of domestic stability. And this latest death of a world leader in a prison indicates that the democratic aspirations of, of Egyptians and Arabs in general are not only lost, but are no longer part of the agenda of the West towards the Middle East. Well, in November 2017, Mohamed Morsi spoke about the conditions of his imprisonment. He said he'd had no access to his lawyers or medical treatment. Since the 20th of September, I've been in prison and I've been isolated. There are glass windows in front of me. I tried to speak to the court about different problems, but the court decided not to hear or see me. After so many days when they turned on the lights, it was very painful. I can't see the court except in shadows. Sometimes I hear the witnesses and sometimes I don't. But I am speaking very clearly. I've got a lot to say to the court. I haven't seen a doctor and I haven't seen my lawyers. I have a right to be seen and to be present. I am in a very, very bad situation. You treat me in this way. I am Mohamed Morsi. I am extremely worried about Egypt.